Hello Tubers, how are you doing today? Well, I hope you're having a good day, continuously praying the rosary, getting closer to God, following his ways, because Yahweh is the best way. Today, today I wanted to talk about the concept of purgatory. All right, you have to learn to pray. You learn to pray in the same way, Lord, teach us to pray. You should have a definite time and place every day to pray. You have an appointment, you have an interview with Almighty God. Many Christians don't believe in purgatory. It's more of a Catholic belief. So I wanted to discuss this. Um, and what kind of, to me, is humorous about this or kind of uh, curious is that people will be very um, forceful in their opinion that, oh, they'll say, I don't believe in purgatory. That's nonsense. That's, you know, I don't believe in that purgatory. <clears throat> and I always think that's curious because to me, purgatory is a, a saving grace. I mean, if you're unfortunate enough to go to heaven, then the next place, the next best place to go is purgatory. So then why would you want to cut out a place that will save you from hell? And I just think that's kind of idiotic. I mean, it's like when you see these uh, men and women walking a tightrope and they fall off the tight the tightrope. Well, don't you think that they maybe want a net to catch them instead of just falling onto the ground? And as, that's how I look at purgatory. To me, purgatory is like the net. So if, you, if you're going to fall, right, because if we go to heaven, we're rising up to heaven. But the day of judgment, if you're not able to go into heaven, well, hopefully your fall will go into a net which is called purgatory because the last thing that you want to do is go to hell so i welcome the idea or the concept of purgatory not that i want to go to purgatory however if i had the choice between going to hell or purgatory i'm going to pick purgatory every time so what is the meaning of purgatory I went to a website called cambridge.org and here is their definition. The place to which Roman Catholics believe that the spirits of dead people go and suffer for the evil acts that they did while they were alive before they are able to go to heaven. So purgatory is a way, it's like forging steel. You take metal and before it becomes steel, you have to forge it. And forging is basically a way of heating it up. And it kind of um, eliminates all the impurities out of the metal. And it, it becomes steel. And that's pretty much what purgatory is. See, when you are not able to go to heaven, it's because you're not pure enough to go to heaven. So what, so what purgatory does is it forges you. And you suffer in, in purgatory, just like how that metal is suffering in a way that is changing through the heat. And you suffer in purgatory. It's almost pretty much uh, like hell. The only thing is that it's, it's temporary as opposed to permanent. So purgatory is not a place where you want to go to. However, it's a lot better than hell. Um... And so, so going back to the point where, where people say, Christians say, that I don't believe in purgatory. Because they'll say, well, it's not in the Bible, so I don't believe it. And they are true. That is true. However, I as a person who recite the rosary prayer and believe in the rosary prayer, there are 15 promises that our Blessed Mother has given to us 
if we are devoted to the rosary prayer. Devoted meaning that you're praying it each and every day. And promise number nine says, I shall deliver from purgatory those who have been those who have been devoted to the rosary. Should one require purgatorial cleansing after death, Our Lady will make a special effort to obtain our release from purgatory through her intercession as advocate. So, even though purgatory is not mentioned in the Bible, it is specifically mentioned as a, as a promise to us, one of the 15 promises, number 9, in the Rosary Prayer. And since I believe in the Rosary Prayer, and it's mentioning specifically purgatory, and Our Lady is going to be a, an advocate for our release from purgatory, from purgatory, I then believe in purgatory. And uh, that's how I feel about it. So, um, you may think that's incorrect. However, that's kind of how I look at it. Well, that's the video for today. I hope you liked the topic. hope you learned something. Uh, please keep playing the rosary. Subscribe to the channel if you like the channel. Uh, please click on like if you like the video. And as always, God bless.